welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to continue our chapter crop production and management in last video i have done a chapter crop production and management topic irrigation irrigation in irrigation method we have talked that how the farmers used to plant, uh, water the plants there were the two method traditional and modern method the first method traditional that we have talked about that this is a very cheap method and it is it use a lot of wastage of water but in the second modern method we talk about that there are two method is sprinkler irrigation and second is drip irrigation there are two type of methods which is we do not take a wastage of water it's a shortage of it is a very useful method and it do not waste water now we are let us discuss each of them one by one first is sprinkler irrigation and second is drip irrigation in sprinkler irrigation this is a type of a method which involves the pumping of a water under the pressure through nozzles and in this the artificial rain is done for planting a crops for uh, watering a crops now second was the drip irrigation in drip irrigation this is a method in which the small holes are used to do and through that small holes pipes and tube uh, through the pipes and tube the uh, water drop by drop directly go to the base of the each plant so this is a very useful method and it have a very shortage of water this method is uh, usually used where is the area where the shortage of water is there now care must be taken not to fill accessibility it means excess water on a field if the um, more water water will be planted on uh, field so it can cause water logging it can uh, have very disadvantages first disadvantages can be that the amount of air which is used to present in the root can decrease and second uh, that it can increase the soil level in content of uh, soil now last is that weeding and crop production crop production in the first topic plucking we have talk that uh, some undesirable plants known as weeds are used to destroy the desirable plants so some of examples of that are wild oat grass bhutta etc needs weeds to be the points are first i have told you that it decrease the uh, air availability in the root and second increase the soil content in the soil now ha huh. so these are the examples of a uh, weeding and the crop production now the process that is done for removing a weeds are known as weeding this process weeding can be done by both by manually or with the help of a chemical okay now first is manual weeding weeds can be uprooted either by hand or with the help of an implement called harrow trowel and hoe see manual weeding manual weeding is the method through which the uh, human being used to do with the hand and human being used some implements known as harrow trowel and hoe for doing this process there but there are some disadvantages also F disadvantages are that it is a time consuming process and sometimes when the human beings used to remove the undesirable plants for uh, some desired plants also cut with that undesirable plants now the implements that i told you such as harrow trowel and hoe are made up of iron and that iron must needed a regular maintenance because it must be prevent from rusting now the second last using weed sites now in weed sites using weed sites it is a chemical that used to destroy the weeds now weed site destroy the weeds without affecting the crop this is a chemical that when the farmers used to spray the crops into the weeds 
so it do not affect any desirable crops some examples are given of the weed sites animals such as rats and ants also damage crops there are some animals uh, such as rats insects these also sometimes damage the crops and such animals are known as pets and the most pets can be destroyed by using a following chemical using a chemical called pesticides for weeds we use chemical weedicides and for pets we use chemical pesticides now weedicides and pesticides have a following disadvantages i have told you that uh, in manual weeding there was some disadvantages and in weedicides also there are some adva- disadvantages incidental contact with these chemical may adversely affect to the health of a farmers when the farmers used to spray the chemical into the plants sometimes that plants may get to the skin of the farmers and that can be affect to the health of a farmers now there some traces of a poisonous can remain in the crop themselves and sometimes the farmers that used to spray uh, the chemicals in the crop sometimes that chemical may remain in the crop so it can be harmful for both farmers as well as the human life also and whosoever used to consumption do consumption it is therefore so it is very important that whenever we used to eat the food or anything we should wash the grains and vegetable before consumption so this was the process of uh, weeding and crop production and irrigation in a next video we are going to do about harvesting and so on thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe my channel